on, ladies and gentlemen. This is your fellow paisano, Mr. Reno Zaurini in the house. Welcome to another edition of Caught You with Reno Z. <laughs> what a brutal day today, huh? Vancouver. What do you expect here in Vancouver? You see? But what is the beauty of this? Talking about what has happened with my lovely Juventus. Because this week, I had no chance to see other games besides Milan, Roma, you know, so then my Juventus, which unfortunately it went down to Kaka, so it is what it is. Before anything, put a like and subscribe. There's gonna be lots to talk about in this video, even after today's conference stop, because I think after Saturday, all of us are like, ooh, me tiga, like, <laughs> dove siamo arrivati? Where the, have we came from? Okay, I laughed after the game that we lost. I just laughed because uh, it's been happening for the last three, four. It's not just Allegri. Even when, when Pioli, uh, Pirlo was there, we had these losses, you know. So what do you expect us to do? Because after the game, Mr. Allegri, once again, he says these things. Oh, uh... Unfortunately, we're not from for Scudetto. Non siamo da Scudetto. Però uh, 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 pensare a, a quarto posto che non sarà facile. We're not for Scudetto, but we have to focus on top four. That is not possible. And I don't put the blame on this guy too much. Because, like we say in Italian, la coppa non è sua. It's not his fault. Because, unfortunately, this guy still lives... Uh, his way, troppo all'antico. There's a saying in Italian that refers to Allegri. Purtroppo, lui è figlio di un calcio che non esiste. Unfortunately, he is the son of a style of calcio that doesn't exist anymore. Like Mourinho and Pioli. This is the reality of facts. Because he can sit there and say, that we have a new team with all these youngsters, this and that. Who is the only youngsters in Juventus at this moment? Kez uh, is tw 25, he's not that young, but super young like Fagioli, Miretti, uh, Locatelli. Like if you look at the stats, Juventus is the 16th team that have the medium from the 26 year old up. Like they built. Uh, Danilo, Alexandro, because in Allegri's world, it, they're all uh, young. Uh, they, they cannot play if you're 22 or 20 years old. And you know, he, he's so hard-headed. He, he, people hope that he did some changes that he studied, but it seems like to me, we're we're backwards. And don't get me wrong, it wasn't just his fault. Chesney, the other hand, has his problems. Uh, Rabiot ha fatto schifo, Danilo, it's even the players. But if you don't put motivation, <laughs> we're not going to go nowhere. And people are telling me that Chesney is a pezzo di merda because he was one of them, like Quadrato and Bonucci attacking Allegri. But what, what else you guys want? Like, I understand instead of, but if Allegri and Chesney don't get along, put Perin. He's a good chance. Then people still here defending this guy. I, I, I like uh, since then I've been had people attacking me because me say my se two cents of Allegri. Like we put our merda on Conte, which nobody wants him, and Allegri is still defendable after what he said. Uh, <coughs> the last game with Empoli last uh, at the end of the season. Uh, this is not Scudetto. He said it again because uh, on the last game of Udinese, what did he say? Uh, um, when the campionato was finished, they were focused on the Scudetto, and now you're switching it up. If I were you, Mr. Allegri, just resign. You know, as much as I would love to see him out and the players out, but I know everybody's saying keep on dreaming because Elkin is not gonna do it. This and that. I have a feeling in my gut, are they gonna get this pressure from this guy? 
Are they going to still uh, have the hopes in this guy? You ask me, ladies and gentlemen. And even today, the same thing. And fans that were defending and fans that were great, that they got it. They had enough. They had enough. Th this is the reality because we can deal with this. I understand we have to be patient. But how patient we have to be? People are hoping that this team is going to win the school. They can win the school death, but with this situation, I'm sorry. We're not venturing guts. For me, I'm happy with top four, but if we don't make top four, uh, I'm going to go Torino, Spacca la faccia tutti, you know? <laughs> Put the bum there. Just to see. Like, like it. Yeah. It is reality. I am pretty much fed up. I'll stick with my guns, like I always said. And uh, that's it. Tomorrow we'll see. Hoping another another ski fia. <coughs> of course, I want them to win because I cheer for Juventus. When Juventus score, I'll be happy. I don't care about Allegri. For me, Juventus. Period. Allegri for me is nothing. All you Allegriani out there, especially my paisans from Italy, we need to wake up and stop uh, defending this guy. Put the blame on the players. Okay, we need to have this new mentality. No more the old school mentality. Or else you're not going to see anything. But then don't complain if Milan or Inter are going to win. Inter are on fire. And, and people find excuses because of the referee. Buddy, that was an offside. They won. Punto. Don't, there's no excuses. We got to look at us. Because losing with Sassuolo 4-2, it's unacceptable. Okay? Because Sassuolo, I know people are saying we gift it, but they were on fire. I'm sorry. That's my two cents about this. Anyways, tomorrow night I'm going to be live with Mr. Anthony from Inter World War. We're going to talk about Calcio whatsoever. And then uh, Thursday I'm going to be with my paisan, Mr. Anthony Trimboli. And we're just going to stick with Juventus. Kabish. So on Thursday, stay tuned for that. So till then, fino alla fine, a casa tutti, a casa allegri, forza Italia, put a like and subscribe, and I love you all, if you love me or hate me. Ciao ciao e arrivederci.